Today, our world confronts the harsh realities of climate adversity. The repercussions of global warming extend far and wide, disrupting water supplies, food security, and our very way of life. In response, nations across the globe united under the Paris Agreement. It's same. To limit temperature increase well below 2 degrees Celsius and strive for 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels by significantly reducing global greenhouse gas emissions. But the question remains, are we making progress? In 2022, global CO2 equivalent emissions saw a modest rise of 0.9%, tallying up to a monumental 36.8 gigatons. A notable part of this increase is linked to the world economy's gradual resurgence post-COVID-19. Encouragingly, this upsurge remained below the previous year's spike of 6%. Focusing on the primary contributors, the power sector stands at the helm, accounting for 40%, trailed by industry at 25%, with transport at 22%, and buildings constituting 8%. Together, these sectors contribute to a staggering 95% of global emissions. Key discussions today mainly revolve around the urgent need to decarbonize the top three sectors. Starting with the power sector, the emphasis is on embracing renewable energy. Investment in renewables soared to unprecedented levels in 2022, hitting a monumental $1.3 trillion. That's a staggering 19% increase from 2021 and a remarkable 70% surge compared to pre-pandemic levels. Diversified strategies permeate the industry sector, encompassing process refinement, electrification, innovative manufacturing methods, and leveraging carbon capture, utilization, and storage technologies. Meanwhile, transportation places its bet on electric vehicle adoption green fuels and amplifying public transit. Country-driven incentives propelled electric vehicle sales past 10 million units globally in 2022, a trend projected to escalate further. Finally, the often underestimated building sector comes into focus. Skyscrapers and infrastructure define our developed environments. Yet, the question looms how do we mitigate emissions from these structures? Are emissions solely attributed to electrical usage, or does an obscured facet await discovery? Amidst the discourse surrounding the other sectors, the decarbonization of buildings remains a less discussed subject. It's time to unearth the intricacies of building emissions and chart pathways toward a more sustainable future.